Mike Hansen was the surprise winner here in 2000 in the very same boat he's driving now. He won the Gold Cup racing as Miss Tubby's Grilled Subs. That name is on the Gold Cup. He could do it again here. He certainly has the lane for it. He's on the inside. Now they're all grouped up down in that turn. No battling for lanes here, Scott. You just have to be on time. We see the Oberto hanging back away. Steve David may be slingshotting him just a little bit. He'd have to do that and then some to get around the two boats to his left. Well, he would, but uh, he's going to need a good head of steam, and he knows they have to leave that lane open for him or incur, incur a penalty. So he can come up there with, with speed, and, and they're in a good timing pace right now, and they're going faster than they have earlier in the earlier heats, which will keep the boats good and clean. And uh, with the rougher water, you got to go faster so you don't put the fire out. Have we lost a boat? Do you see Mitch Evans? Uh, oh, there he is. Okay, he's in lane two. He's back a bit in the rooster tails. We were worried about Mitchell there for a moment, but he's okay. Just back a little, probably on time. Mike Hansen in the U9 on the inside has no reason to be way up ahead, but right now he's leading the field on the backstretch. Hopefully, watching the clock, it would be a shame for him to have this opportunity and not make a good start, Scott. Well, it would be a shame for any one of the five of them. Uh, they, they all want to make a good start, but... Uh, he's just a little bit early. He's probably not going to get a, a big head of steam. The guys on the outside are going to slingshot him. He holds it right on the boy line now as they come swinging around him. It was a great side as all five went by the Yacht Club. Nate Brown outside is riding very, very fast. Way out in lane five, five, four, three, two, one. Mark, they were very close. We'll get the word on the start from the officials. Several of the boats right on the line. Mike Hansen on the inside did make a good start, Scott. Yes, they all had a good start. They were all exactly where they needed to be, and they're thundering into the first turn, Steve. Mike Hansen on the inside has the advantage as we look down on him. If nobody gets around him right here, he oh, may be able no. to... Oh, Mitch yeah. Evans is out in front of him. Mitch Evans in the red boat went right by him at the apex of the turn. It's going to be an incredible boat race as they turn. Oh, Hansen oh. got into the rooster tail. He almost blew the boat over, but he's keeping it going. Mike Hansen swung out into the rooster tail of Mitch Evans' piston-powered boat. Here is a piston boat leading the Gold Cup halfway through through the first lap, Scott. Could it be happening here? Well, it's happening on this first lap, Steve, that's for sure. Now, Mitch just needs, there's a lot of rollers down here. He needs to pick a good, clean lane through here. He needs to leave room for Mike Hansen on the inside. He does that, perhaps, but just barely. Hansen left to slow it down. Bill Walk is giving chase on the outside. He's running second right now in Miss Budweiser. Fourth is Nate Brown in the Elam Plus as they come down to complete lap one. Piston Power leading the Gold Cup after a complete lap. Mitch Evans out of Chelan, Washington. A great start, a great first turn. So far, Scott, he's raced this boat perfectly. Well, he's raced the boat perfectly, really, all weekend long, and this is the race they've been waiting for. This is the granddaddy. This is the Gold Cup. This is a race neither of the Evans brothers have ever won, and his heart is beating 500 beats per minute as we speak. Mark Evans in a hospital. We understand he has a badly broken leg, uh, an injured race boat as well. Nothing could make it feel better than to have his brother win Boy, the Gold Cup here. Mike Hansen hooked it again coming off that corner. He's having a real tough time getting off that turn number two. Looked like he got out into Bill Walk's rooster tail just a bit there. So now the race, well, it may be over. Over, folks if the piston powered boat continues to run like this Mitch Evans coming around to complete lap two he's through the rooster tail turn the fans here who have watched this sport for decades love this piston powered boat and there is an incredible cheer as he comes by just like the Lions scoring a touchdown end of lap two Mitch Evans your leader there isn't a fan here that's that is sitting there standing and cheering cheering every time the boat goes by and as we say that the Elam has gone by the U9 for third place Nate Brown started way back on the outside he has moved up next to Mike Hansen if not in front of him we'll watch him come through the turn here from our O'Doul's eye in the sky way out ahead now Mitch Evans halfway through this five lap final in the U3 the, doing Budweiser, a great job. the Budweiser is not giving up he is driving that boat as hard as he can possibly drive it and if anything he is gaining a little bit Nate Brown slowing down problems aboard the Elam plus he's gonna be out of it that's gonna move Mike Hansen up into third place Nate had given it a great run from the outside, Scott. Well, he really did. He was driving his heart out, and uh, it's a shame that that boat went down. I don't think he went through any water, Steve. Here comes Mitchell around the apex of the rooster tail turn, named for the historic restaurant right above it, coming down to complete lap three. Dave Vilwalk in pursuit, but it's a distant pursuit at this point. Something is going to have to go wrong. 
with Mitch Evans. Can you imagine the feeling with the Cooper family, the team from Evansville, Indiana? I bet you they're having trouble breathing down there, Scott. Well, I hope somebody's down there with CPR for, for O.Ed because he just, this is his dream come true. This man has been involved in this sport for over 20 years. He was a back marker for most of that, and now he's got the fastest boat in the world, and he's leading the Gold Cup. They won the season opener in Evansville. He could barely speak on the winner's stand. A very, very emotional victory there. This would eclipse that as far as thrills go. Well, Budweiser is still coming, Steve. This is not over yet. He has taken about a third of the lead away from Mitch Evans, and I know Mitch is in radio contact, but he's got to concentrate. He's got about a lap and a half to go, and he has to concentrate and not make a mistake because Dave Billwalk is coming hard in the Budweiser. Billwalk is right there. Any kind of a bobble on the part of Mitch Evans, and Miss Budweiser would move up into the lead and win yet another Gold Cup for the team and the driver who have the most here by far. Mitch Evans gets the white flag as he comes down the front stretch. Billwalk in pursuit, just a couple of rooster tails back, right on his hip. Mike Hansen taking a wild bounce in the rooster tail turn, running in third place down the front stretch. It's quite a ways back now to Steve David and the oh boy Oberto just coming through the turn in fourth place. Three quarters of a lap to go for Mitch Evans in Ed Cooper's piston-powered U3 racing here as the Fox Hills Chrysler Jeep. And after all the Chrysler people have done for the Gold Cup here, this would be appropriate, Scott. Well, and they've never won. Uh, none of the boats that had Chrysler Jeep on them have ever won a race here in Detroit. So they've been backing this for years, and it's great for Chrysler to see this thing out front. And it's he's just got a, I, I don't know if I can stand it. He's got a half a lap to go. Billwalk's still coming. He's just got to keep it together. Come on, Mitchie. Billwalk actually picked up the margin just a little bit coming out of the Belle Isle turn, but now Mitch easily moves out ahead. It's a full two rooster tail lead. You can hear the crowd saluting Mitch Evans, a veteran driver out of Chelan, Washington. He's won races before, but nothing like this. He's going to take piston power to the checkered flag, the U3. It raced as the Cooper's Express for years and years without a sponsor. They built a new boat. They raced here for Fox Hills Chrysler Jeep, and they have won the 2003 APBA Chrysler Jeep Gold Cup. Second place will go to Dave Vilwalk in Miss Budweiser. Third to Mike Hansen in the U9. Congratulations to that team racing here as the Al DB Dodge. Old boy Oberto and Steve David will take fifth place after a great weekend here at the Gold Cup. Let's go down to the victorious pit area of the team from Evansville, Indiana. Scott Pierce with Ed Cooper Jr. and his driver, Mitch Evans. Champions of the 2003 Chrysler Jeep APBA Gold Cup. Scott Pierce has joined the celebration as Ed Cooper welcomes Mitch Evans back to the dock. What? Mitch, uh, I know somebody's big brother that's got to be awful happy. Uh, words can't express it. Uh, really can't. Great day. Yep. You nailed the start. You I, I motored through that first turn like there's nobody's business. I had to. I, I knew uh, the guys inside me, geez, whoever was in there, I can't remember now, but uh, Mike Ganson, and, and I knew Dave was coming hard on the outside, and I had I had to be there. I had to be the first one off. And, and to get enough room to cover these guys, you got to drive your ass off. Let me tell you what, <laughs> it was something. Send a wish to mom and big brother. Huh? Yeah, you're the best. Uh, heal up quick. I know it's going to be a long one, but um, I'll be there to help you out. All right, we're so proud of you, buddy. Yeah, it was a great day. How does great it day. Feel? How does it feel to be setting history? Yeah, yeah. How does it feel to be setting history? Hey, hello, brother. Get this, get this. Put the mic on. Yeah. Go ahead. Bruce, I'm out of dock down here. Yeah. I did this one for you, buddy. <laughs> it was awesome. I won it. Got one in the hospital. Yes, I did. Uh, it was awesome. But the boat was great. I'll uh, heal, heal up quick and I'll, uh, I'll come and see you and, get, and show you the trophy. Alrighty, take care brother. I'll see you. Oh man.